Hi, it's Michelle from Solely Rested. I wanted to give you a little glimpse into our maple syrup production going on today. Nothing overly exciting, it's basically a pan on top of a flame with some tree sap in it. Um, but boy, it smells really good. I wish I could capture that on the video. Uh, the pan is bigger than I have been using. I shouldn't say I, it's my husband's operation. He gets all the credit. It's it's a bigger pan because pretty much the wife messed up the last pan. He left me in charge of it. I totally burned the snot out of it. It was so awful. I felt so bad. Um, and this is not the ideal pan. Ideally, we'd like to have a big rectangular deep pan over an open fire um, with a larger boiling surface so it would be much more effective. This takes longer because the bottom of the pan, of course, is limited in size. But um, it works. It works well. And... Um, you might wonder why we don't just do all this inside. It would basically make a sticky, sugary, sappy mess of the kitchen um, with the sap that's evaporated off all over the counters and the cabinets. So we do the messy part out here. When it gets close to the bottom, when there's a few inches left, we'll take it inside and we'll watch it really closely when it gets to just the right temperature. Then it's ready to filter one last time and put it into bottles and can it. Um, we do actually go through a lot of propane. Um, this tank will probably last us for the day though, but we also have saved ourselves a lot in propane by boiling down, or not boiling down, filtering out that sap. We use about half of the amount um, of the buckets amount of sap as we would if we didn't filter it. But we have an RO filter that makes it a lot more efficient and uses a lot less propane. If you want more information about that, I wrote a post about it and I'll link it in the comments later. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to give you a little shot into what we're doing here this Saturday on the homestead. And by the way, the, the boards, it's nothing technical. We just have them propped up there so that the breeze coming in on the back porch here doesn't um, put out the, the flame from the propane. So that just keeps the fire going. But thanks for watching, and I hope everything is great in your neck of the woods today.